Oh, this one's kind of cute. This is the ferocious flame. She is a 10 year old Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, and the most ferocious thing about her is I, her I, appetite. I have to go big cam I have to when go she's look. not scavenging my backyard for poopsicles, she's in my shop eating dog toenails. I see flame on a daily basis ah! for daycare. So Today she is here sense. for her full oh, morning good. treatment. I'm bathing her in our de shedding shampoo because she's losing a lot of hair. You don't want to miss this Why before and after. Duck tollers were bred to do exactly what their name says. Using the white tip on their tail, they attract ducks from afar. So you think so after the duck has been oh. hunted, the retriever goes out to get the duck and bring it back to the hunter. For this reason, duck tollers absolutely love water. After her bath, she shakes on command. One more time, shake. Shake. One more time, shake. <laughs> Duck tollers are the smallest of retrievers. They are a rare breed, and I have not seen very many in my career. They often get mistaken for a small golden retriever. Flame only weighs about 27 pounds. I spray her down in our vinegar water mixture to speed up the drying process, and no, she will not smell like vinegar when she's completed, and then I blow dry her. As you can see, she is really enjoying it. She is quite itchy from all of the hair that she has to lose, and she is happy to sit through her air massage. The high velocity dryer gives me an ability to remove all of her loose undercoat fairly quickly. Sometimes the de-shedding nozzle isn't as good as the blow dryer. I reward her good behavior with Mellow Bear's CBD treats. After she is dry, I brush her with my coral brush, and then I de-shed her using the Equi Groomer. <laughs> I switch over to my undercoat rake and I remove a whole lot more hair. I finish off her brush using my metal comb and then using my 10 blade I shave out the matting that's behind her ears. I clip her nails and then I shave out her paw pads. Using my slicker brush I brush the hair on the top of her paws up and then I trim her Grinch feet. Using my thinning shears, I tidy up that her wispy bits really and I tidy Holy up her shit, back dude. end. Then I trim the tops of her ears. Using my straight shears, I round her ears. And then I clean out her ears using Nature's Choice Ear Cleaner. I have poured it on the makeup you, pad, Snack, and now I am wiping out the ear us. canal. I spray her down in our Salon Scents Blueberry Pie Pet Cologne. And Flame is gorgeous. Keep watching for her before and after photos, and to see her frolic in the yard. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am grooming a breed of dog that I have never done before. This is Elo, and he is a Finnish Lapland. I always get a little bit nervous when working on a breed that I haven't done before because I don't exactly know what to expect. But I am excited because he looks like a giant Pomeranian. I am bathing him using my undercoat control shampoo by the coat handler. Elo's name actually means joy in Finnish. Finnish Lapins are a herding breed, We've and they seen were this? used to herd reindeer in their native land. Gidget is getting something very special today. She is my three-year-old vivacious Pomeranian, and she has not been groomed in quite some time. Due to the pandemic, my business was shut down a couple of times, so I am very behind and backed up with my regular clients, which means unfortunately my dogs are on the back burner. I start off by clipping her nails. You will notice that Gidget makes different funny faces throughout the process. After that, I trim the inside of her paw pads, and then I turn to the top of her paws. I trim them nice and round. In order for me to give her her special treatment today, I have to trim her feet before the bath. 
using my slicker brush, I fluff up the top of her paws, and then I trim them using my scissors. I deflate Gidget in the bathtub when I bathe her in my aloe vera shampoo. She is a very small Pomeranian, but you would never know it with all of that hair. Gidget's coloring is called Blue Merle. Pomeranians do not come in this color, so at some point a Sheltie was introduced into her bloodline in order to give her this color coat. Blue Merle Pomeranians are not recognized by the CKC, but they are recognized by the AKC. Believe it or not, many years ago, Pomeranians actually Yo. came from the Spitz breed and they were used as sled dogs. But Queen Victoria owned a particularly small Pomeranian, Cheh. and because of that, the smaller variety became more popular. If you are considering getting a Pomeranian, they are wonderful, happy-go-lucky dogs. But know that they Save are known next. for some health problems, such as collapsing trachea, luxating patella, and alopecia. After Gidget's bath, I fully conditioned her body, and then I towel dry her. <laughs> Gidget shakes hey herself boys, off, you think and I'll now it's sexy time now. for her special little treatment. I am using Pet Safe Color, which is non-toxic. Don't shake my face like a radiating. Like a and I like color yes, her little tiny white paws purple. Done. It hurts, yeah. dude. Gidget absolutely loves human attention. When I color her feet, people always stop me everywhere I go because they want to pet and enjoy her. Therefore, she loves having her feet colored because that means that she gets all of the attention. After the color has sat, I rinse it off, and now her feet are a cute pale purple. Wait, I what? Her Why? Down in our conditioning treatment, Wait, and what? now she is ready for the dryer. This is Gidget's least favorite part, if you couldn't tell by the look on her face. Fun fact, I do not brush Gidget between grooms. That's right, you heard that correctly. I, a groomer, do not brush my dog between grooms. However, I do groom her once a month. The reason for this is because Gidget absolutely hates the brush. If I bathe her, condition her, and blow dry her with the high velocity dryer, I can remove what the all fuck of her are those paws, and avoid brother? matting. If you have a Pomeranian that does not like to be brushed, which like, I know that most don't, I think dying is you should dumb, consider bringing them in if, for a if you're gonna die, once a month. Like, if you could see by white, the hair, she has black, no matting. Anything now contrasting and flashy, but I can purple? brush her and cause no pain or pulling. I start off from the bottom, working my way up, using my coral slicker brush. The look on her face says it all. The brush for her is enemy number one. Once I've smoothed out her coat with my slicker brush, I move over to the metal comb. Using my 30 blade, I skim over her bum to give her a cute round look. Then I switch over to my thinning shears to make sure that it is properly blended. Okay. I am okay. giving Gidget a very mild trim on her body. I got Pomeranians because I love their fluffy coat. I do not condone shaving a I double mean, that was a free. zoomed in bum like Jesus, dude. A double coat acts like insulation in a home. It helps to keep the animal cool in the summer and warm in the winter. They are not designed to be shaved. It can also cause so alopecia so so or patchy hair. Still growth. Lord of the Rings. Okay, After dude. After I finish with her tidy... I spray her down in our sweet pea cologne, and she gets all excited because she knows she's finished. She is looking so beautiful and ready to roll in some poop outside. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of these adorable grooming videos. Eh, it's a rat. It's still a rat. It'll probably always be a rat. That's a rat.